Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to some more. Let's let's play Cult of Lamb. Sorry, I couldn't remember where we we're up to. Um, so we have our first follower, our best boy, uh, who I do not remember the name of, but I'm sure is very valued all the same. Um, his name is Ma. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have our next follower right here. Please spare me. Uh, you will be uh, my good friend and best boy, Noob Killer. Uh, I do. Do we, do we want to randomize his form a bit? I do. I do like Spider, like weird Egg Boy. But maybe, maybe we spin a bit. Maybe, but we just leave it. Hmm, might just leave it. Just what the game gave us. Um, okay, so noob killer, you are again sacrifice. You don't love me sacrificing people. Feel like at the moment that's not an issue, but it might come up later. And you lose 10 faith when falling ill. Ugh. Well, we'll try not to, try not to do that. Welcome to the cult. Now get to work. Uh, what was the other one doing? I don't know. We'll get you to mine stone. Uh, I need to make more meals. Followers will either work or worship. Worshipping followers generate devotion for you to collect. But to collect devotion, you require a shrine. Uh, shrine. Oh, I put it in the middle. That's convenient. Now let's get to work. Noob killer, you don't have to help. I got this. It's all good. Just get back to your stone. Praise be, your followers can now worship you. Here is a new follower. Assign them to worship at the shrine. Then collect the devotion your followers generate at the shrine to unlock divine inspiration. Oh, I don't have a name for you, so you are just going to be generic person. Hunaju, convert me to your cult or follow your teachings faithfully. Um, sure. Terrified of death. Okay. And sloth, lovely. You're gonna be my worshiper, the slothful one. Is that because you don't want to do any other work? You're like, I'll pray. I'll totally pray, lots. Um, yeah, worship for me, please. Uh, collect devotion. More falls worshiping. Fast they fill up. Uh, unlock new buildings. Sure. Um, I feel like I need to do some more cooking. Ooh, a hearty meat broth. 15% chance of follower pooping instantly. Lovely. Oh, I guess they both do that. Um, we'll just make some of these because it seems like just as easy. Oh, man. I wish I could get more people working on working on stone because it feels like the painful pit. Okay. Get rid of this. Oh, wow. That was quick and easy. <laughs> Look at all this space we've got. Alright, Ma, you're trying your best, but it's not very good, I'll be honest. We really need to get rid of one of these giant stone things. Actually, we had some sort of giga tree as well, didn't we? I guess the big ones are the ones we won't worry about. If we, like... Mine slash chop everything else except for the big ones, then at least our followers will have to work on those. Uh, receive. Nice. Uh, okay, so I guess we have to start with a temple. A body pit. Okay, lovely. Farm plot. Yep, yep, okay. Alright, um, let's just get a temple. Nice. Uh, so you have to get four upgrades to max it out. Fair enough. Uh, build a temple. Sure. Temple. Uh, where do we want this? We want to put it like... The first thing you see when you come in. Wait, you can actually put it like in the way. That's really stupid. Um, <clears throat> yeah, no, I think we... Or do we put it over here? You, you get turned into a follower and then you get straight to work at the temple. No, because it's near the food. 
Let's let's put it like here. Actually, that looks perfect. It's right near my like weird building things. I can flip it left and right. It's kind of fun. All right, guys, I'd really rather just stay working on you know your thing. I like I appreciate you helping, but I I don't need it. <clears throat> the temple is the center of your cult. From there you will preach sermons to grow stronger and perform rituals to mold the fragile minds of your followers. You are responsible for maintaining the faith of your cult. If it falls too low, your followers will dissent against you and leave. Your followers are ready to hear your word. Show them that you are their great leader. Preach a sermon from within your temple. Um, uh, sure, but first let's just get some of that favor. Okay, preach a sermon. This should be easy. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, guys, you know, just believe in me. Uh, ooh, don't believe in anyone else. And, uh, and yay, were you saved. Through the faith of your followers, you grow stronger. Point server, sermons, blah, 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 blah. Abilities and curses. Followers with a higher loyalty will generate more devotion. Therefore, the more followers you have and the more loyal they are, the quicker you will gain your abilities. Okay. Heart of the Faithful. Permanently gain half a heart. I don't see why not. Like, half a heart's good. More hearts are more good. Okay, so now we've learned how to get more stuff for our village and how to get more stuff for us. Uh, okay, I'm guessing we can't do it again. <clears throat> You're amazing to behold, a natural leader. I see why you were chosen. If you are to guide your cult, you'll need to declare doctrine so that they might obey you. Return to the lands of the old faith and seek out commandment stone fragments. With these you will be able to declare new doctrines. Fair enough. Uh, our faith is pretty good. Uh, we don't really have any other buildings to build. Not even any decorations. Edit buildings? Oh, okay. Right, gotcha. So you can move stuff around. Perfect. Um, well... There's enough food for everybody, so I'd say we take that. I I'd, I'd say yeah, we just like get straight back to straight back to the murders. How do we go this way? So how do we unlock other ones? Ah, more followers. Okay, so we need nine for that one. Seven. Twelve. Okay. 9, 7, 12. Okay, so 7. So we need 4 more followers. Jeez. Okay. Ooh. We have an axe now? More damage, less speed. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, God. That is slower. I am not a fan of that. Okay. Yeah. I can feel fate's hand on the cards this night. Ooh. Uh, better chess? Yeah. We'll go for loot. You cannot argue with the draw. One might as well argue with the ocean. Yeah, so... I'm, I'm gonna go for, like, the economy game. Chonk. Oh my god, I just, like, cannot see anything. Oh, hello. So you foolishly persist, little lamb. I hear your lies, and I smell your fear. The red crown rises again, but what an unworthy bearer it has. Chop! Chop, chop. Yeah, no, I'm not a... Not the biggest fan. Wait, does it actually have a combo? Oh wow, it does, but holy shit, that is a slow combo. I don't think I'm ever going to do more than like one attack at a time. Yeah, no, I think just one attack, like swing, swing, swing. That's the way to go with the old axe. Give me that sword back. 
I'm glad I found you. I bring good news. The one who waits is pleased with your progress and wishes to grant you a crown ability. Ah! Oh god, I've got the real bleeding eyes. Love it. Uh, Quiver of Righteousness. Oh, I get like a bow. Okay. Okay, well, don't know if I'll use it that much, but sure. Enemies you slay will now drop further. Collect this to replenish your curses. Uh, yep, sure. Uh, further will drop when you slay. Yeah, 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 gotcha. Okay. I'm thrilled. Pop. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, take it back. I probably will. Uh, use that because it seems to do just a shitload of damage. Ooh, new tarot card. Uh, oh. It's just another heart. Oh, it, it just gave it to me. Oh, cool. I thought I was unlocking another tarot card. Oh my god. Just, okay, the axe is pretty fun. Still, still give me the sword back though. I'll be honest. Because I hate how slow that is. I want to be quick on my feet. Whereas this, I feel like I'm going to have to go like chop, dash, chop, dash, chop, dash. I guess we can we can get it done. Ooh. Stonehenge? I guess, yeah, I was going to say, I guess it's a decoration. Cool. I'm guessing it probably makes them happier. Also, has my little outfit changed? Is that a thing? <clears throat> Fleece of the lamb. It's kind of fun. Yeah, I'm like all grey now. Oh god, I actually have choices now. Um, okay, so if I go this way, I'm actually getting a new follower, which maybe is good. Alternatively, question mark. And I do like a mystery. Oh. Okay, this might be a little bit too mysterious for me at the moment. Helpless Leshy, youngest of the five, twas his eyes he lost. Temperamental Hecate, with her throat cut neat. Cowardly Kalamar's ears, torn from his head. And Shamura, once the brightest of the five, till their skull was split. See no evil, speak naught, hear nothing, think none. The one who waits made it so. Are we... <laughs> Are we the baddies? <laughs> Are we the baddies? Are we are we siding with the god that super like super wroths upon people? Ooh. Okay, it's like a leshy statue. Enemy self halved, received double damage. Oh. Oh. So that's just like the thing. That's just the thing that is in this area. That's what the double, uh... I guess the double heart thing was, like the symbol underneath this one. I was wondering. But I just figured more symbols were more good. Bonk. Okay, let's keep going. So you'll have half health, which means, theoretically, this is not terrible. Because I literally kill everything in one hit. And as long as I don't get hit... The result is just an absolute win. There is no downside. Uh, we'll go down. Oh, it's our boy. Tell me, lamb, do you believe destiny immutable? Uh, 10% chance of gaining a temporary heart when killing an enemy. When attack, 10% chance of negating damage. That sounds better. That sounds far more useful. Wait, can I look at the... Oh, this is just like the tarot book. Yeah, gotcha. That's just to see what we could possibly get. Oh, God. <laughs> you again. What do you want? Eons ago, these lands were rife with gods and their adherents. What befell this pantheon? Alas, tis the nature of beasts to forget, and of gods to be forgotten. Mayhap they left, mayhap they slept, mayhap they devoured and were devoured in turn. Those few who remained spread roots, spun webs, molded this world to meet them and theirs. 
Twere a land of many gods once. Hundreds now. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um, that one. Oh, I need all of them. I see. <coughs> gotcha. Uh, you found enough rags to form a commandment stone. Commandment stones are used to declare new doctrines for your cult to follow. Use the altar in your temple to declare a new doctrine. Okay, sure. So it's like how we upgrade our cult, I guess, and kind of shape it to do what we want. Bonk. Um, yeah, the half, half health but double damage feels pretty strong. Also, yeah, I think, I think, uh, hit and roll is the way to go. Oh, God. Oh, I can take the Crusader Blade, too. Well, I'm kind of used to the axe now. I still don't like it. Don't get me wrong, I'd rather not use the axe, but I think there's no point changing literally right at the end. Oh, steal some more devotion. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, nice. Get an upgrade. Alright. Ooh, nearly got me. Oh, I want to go back to... I, I want to go back to bloody double, double damage or whatever. Boom. Oh, so it slows down time for like a second. Whoop. Bonk. Whoop. I didn't even bonk. At least the enemies don't hurt you when you touch them. It's only when they attack, which is good, because I think... I don't mind the art style and everything in the game and the way it works, but it is a little bit janky when all your attacks kind of go left or right. If they hurt you when they touched you, I think it would be a bit too rough. Nice. I don't know why I'm chopping all the grass. It seems to literally just drop grass, which we have used for nothing yet. But I'm kind of trying to go for that surplus. Rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Oh god, another one? <sighs> yeah, alright. Uh, gain an extra half heart. That sounds perfect, because that gives us four, five full hearts. <clears throat> Which, just before we go into a boss battle... Oh, can I... You reckon I can get to 100? Oh, 99 grass. Bummer. Oop. Oop. Nice. Ooh. What is this? Upgraded fireball? Yeah, we'll definitely do that. No reason not to. It's just a better better curse. Okay, so I can already see that as the game goes on, we'll probably have a bunch of stuff unlocked. So we'll just get random ones all the time, and it's worthwhile to like upgrade your flaming shot just in case you get one. Alright. Ooh. Valifar. Valifar? Ooh. Whoop. Bonk. Ooh. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay, he's not too bad. No, nope. you want to stay away from the big fireball. See, big, big chops. Ooh, that was a hit. Oh, he's getting faster. Got him. Easy mode. Just roll around a little, it'll be alright. Oh, little buddy, you'll be in my cult soon enough. We must protect new killer. Uh, ooh. Okay, berry bush seeds. We have plenty. Yeah, we have 39. Now, lumber. We should have lots of that, too. I don't know what choose follower form is. That new animal form your followers can take. Oh, okay. 
Cool. Okay. Well, more fun stuff. I'm not against that. Uh, yeah, we're done. Back to our camp, I suppose. It's one less follower for Leshy. So Leshy seems to be, yeah, like the bug guy. Easy. Easy. Plus one follower. See, I guess we could have plus two followers, but... Ooh, we're back with the one who waits. Very good, my vessel. It seems I chose well when I kept you from death. I will be watching your every move. Do not disappoint me. Again, I feel like he's going to be the last boss, because I feel like he's definitely bad. Plus, we're going to like kill all the other gods. So it feels like we're going to go beat all of them, and then finish off with um, the one who waits below or whatever. Um, have you guys all eaten yet? Ooh, eating more food. Okay. Uh, this is fine. We'll just cook four of these. Might need to set up some kind of farming, because we are rapidly running out of food. Yeah, eat up, you little gremlins. Oh wow, you all needed to eat. Oh, okay. Um... Who is this? I have Alpha. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Um, so we could turn him into horse person, but I, I think we keep him with his boss form. 50% uh, faster when sick and in bed rest. Gain faith when building better sleeping quarters. That's pretty cool. Alright. Alpha, you're okay. I like you. Uh, oh god, honestly... Do want to get rid of some stuff, but maybe... No, we'll just get you to collect some stone. Bre break up these massive stones. They take up so much space. Um, I feel like we want farm plots. I feel like we want this, because we're going to start running out of food kind of soon. Uh, farming bundle. Sure. Um, I'll take all this. Nice. Oh, hello. Ma, how are we doing? Yuck, this place is gross. If you don't clean this up, someone will get sick. Unsanitary conditions at your cult will cause your followers to become sick. A follow if a follower becomes sick, assign them to bed rest or they could die. Poop, vomit, and dead bodies cause illnesses to spread quickly through your cult. Lovely. Cleaning messes and burying bodies will prevent the spread of illness. Sure. Is this because one of you is like, pooped or something? Oh, or are you just telling me? Oh, no, there's poop over here. Why is no one else cleaning this? Oh, it gives me fertilizer, I guess. That's handy. Uh, all right, we need to build some stuff. Oh, wow, they're literally just one. Oh, and they're... They're, uh... Grass. Um, okay, so why don't we just go, like... Two, three, four, five... One... Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That feels pretty good. Do you have to actually build them? Oh my god, you do have to build them. Alright, well I'm just going to clean up all your poop. I don't know why the leader of the cult has become a janitor. But sure. Uh, Ma? I knew you could do it. You truly are divine. What? The divine custodian. <laughs> okay, sure. Sure, the Divine Custodian. Actually, while we're on that, while we're on that, let's let's build that Stonehenge. What's that decoration? I don't know where we're going to put it. Do we put it, like, right in the middle there? Actually, that feels pretty good. Oh, I can't put another one. This is too close. Ah, uh, that's fine. Just, just the one's okay. Now, I'm going to build this. They can do the farm plots. Because they don't seem to take a lot of building, so I'm sure they should be able to handle that. I'll build the things that are actually difficult. <laughs> nice. And you can just walk through it. Oh, I like that. What do you want? Uh. No, no, we're good. Oh, he's just going to appreciate what I built. Yeah, good on you. Good on you, buddy. 
Uh, right. What are we doing? We sleeping? Actually, wow, I need to... God, I need to cook more meals. You guys are just painful. Uh, oop. Rocks. We'll get rid of these. Oh my god, you, you little bastard. Give, give me that. Oh, he gave us meat. Neat. Oh. Wait, can I catch him? Oh my god, we can't. Okay, so critters come out at night, I guess. And that's how we can get food. Aha! A stringy meat gruel. Lovely. Ugh, <laughs> love it. Ah yes, today we are serving stringy meat gruel in the cafeteria. I hope you will all enjoy it. Um, okay, I see that you guys are going to want some kind of sleeping quarters. Because I'm sure you are all going to whinge about having to sleep outside. Is that about the gist of it? Okay. Just plant all these. Okay, surely I can get one of you to do this. God, I feel like I could spend all day here. Well, all night at the moment. Yeah, don't mind me. Just, just fall asleep in the fields. Look, it'll it'll be a special miracle for the <clears throat> for the lads uh, when they wake up. Oh, all the fields will be will be sown and watered. Like a Christmas miracle. Uh, all right. So what are we doing? We are making you commandment. Uh, crown. Declare a new doctrine. Declare a new doctrine for your cult. Select from a category and make a choice that will unlock either a new ritual, trait, or follower interaction. Oh, okay. So I have to take... I have to take this one first. Okay, there's like different things that we've got. Okay. Well, we'll do this first. Time for morning mass. Bonfire ritual. Dance around the flames to increase the cult's faith. Ah, uh, pretty cool. Handy. If we get low faith, we can we can crank that one out. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. So it requires wood and bones, I guess. Uh, we'll do a sermon. We need to keep that faith up. Perfect. Uh, Bane Weapons or Curse of the Horde. Three new curses will appear in your crusade. Eh. Bane Weapons have a chance of poisoning enemies. Okay, that sounds a bit better. Because that means we can just use, like, the sword. We can just tickle them once and then play, play dodge them. Which I think is always a good strategy in any game like this. Being able to just focus on, focus on defense... Uh, yes, we don't have bones, so we can't do the old ritual. Alright, back to work. Preaching sermons, performing rituals, and providing for the needs of your followers will keep their faith high. The bones of your enemies are required to perform such rituals. Destroy their skeletons to gather their bones. Turn to the lands of the old faith. Gather bones from fallen enemies. Recruit more followers and return to perform a ritual here in the temple. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. After slaying a non-believer, desecrate their bodies to gather their bones and use them to form dark rituals at your temple. Lovely. Lovely. Uh, we have a lot of faith. So that's good. I take you guys... Okay, we'll just add a little fertilizer here because you've all been... You've all been pooping. You, you still pooping? Hello, noob killer. How can I help you? Great leader. The cult is growing by the day. It is time you gave it a name. Um. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, Cult of the Lamb is pretty good, but what if, what if, hear me out, we are the Down Under Lads. <laughs> or the Down Under... Hmm. Uh, 
Hmm. The the <laughs> I want down onto something. Down on a cult. Eh. Hmm. Noob killer, you have you have faced me with a very difficult question. Very difficult question. The the down under or uh, we'll we'll just be no I'll I'll go go for the start or okay no we will be we'll just be the cult of the nerd that's that's easy done done why 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 am I making this difficult that has a nice ring to it thank you you killer it does it does have a nice ring to it uh. Unrelated note, you you've been now noob kill, I'm not blaming you, but you you've been you've been you've been pooping. You've been pooping somewhere. It's not just you. Okay, it looks like you're all good. Oh my god. You you all eat so much. Stop. Um Okay. This is fine. We'll just cook these. They're probably harder to cook. Oh, okay, like slightly. Alright, but we are going to leave this episode here. So guys, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos on there. If you think you know any friends of mine enjoy my content, make sure you share a video too with them. Really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback of videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so I can see it. Or... Sorry, we'll interrupt that for a second. Or, if you want me to add your name onto the cultist list, guys, let me know. I'll put you straight in. Um, it seems like we're going to have a, f a big uptake in followers pretty soon. So, guys, I'll see all of you in the next episode. Goodbye.